So, Madam Chair and guests and fellow Toastmasters, thank you. A Jew, a Muslim, and a Christian are walking down the street. <laughs> Anywhere else in the world, that would elicit a thousand different punchlines. But in Canada, it elicits a different one. A Jew and a Muslim and a Christian are walking down the street. A oh, really, which one? I come through Immigration Canada, pass through Customs. The doors of the Customs Hall open at Pearson, and I see the face of Canada. It's my Canada. I see the descendants of Europe, First Nations, Central and South America, Africa, and Asia, all with expectant looks on their faces, waiting, ready to welcome friends and loved ones home. Hello, Canada. I've missed you, I say. And that diversity that I see at Pearson doesn't stop at the doors of the airport, nor the boundaries of Toronto, but it goes into the suburbs and rural Ontario. Sure, other countries have diversity, but it's different here at home. Because it's not specific groups in certain situations, but it's diverse groups in all situations. We're driving home on the 401 and we stop at the Swiss Chalet. And I look around me on that particular night and I see a black man having dinner with his Asia, Asian girlfriend, a Latino family sharing dinner with a, a, Chinese fa a Chinese family, and an Indian family laughing with the Vietnamese waitress named Ruth. I look at my partner and I say, this is amazing. And he says, it's nothing short of fantastic. I went to the mall before I picked you up and I saw three friends so ethnically different and diverse in the way they dressed. I never would have pegged them to be friends. They range from rocker to conservative businesswoman. The face, the Canada that I enjoy so much today was the result of a conscious effort by the Canadian people in the 1960s and the 70s, first under Lester B. Pearson with biculturalism and bilingualism, and then carried further by Pierre Trudeau and multiculturalism. Our multiculturalism and our immigration policy today has made Canada a leader in the world, so much so that the progressive Swedes are studying our approach. Multiculturalism has allowed immigrants, newcomers to Canada, to have a sense of belonging and contribution. It ma it's made it easier for them. And contribution and a sense of belonging is what it's all about. Contribution and belonging. So what can we do to make newcomers feel welcome? What can we do to make their contribution feel valued? And what can we do to share the best parts of our culture with them as they detach from their old. I encourage you to pick up from time to time in the stores the magazine, Canadian Immigrant. You'll get a sense of what newcomers go through, how they addressed, and how they contribute to our country. Because what is being created here is fragile and it can be destroyed easily enough through misunderstanding, xenophobia, poor social policy, and fear. Mostly fear. Do we have the courage to counter negative comments about immigrants? Do we have the courage to seek out friends with different ethnic backgrounds? And can we make people in Canada feel that they have a sense of belonging? All Canadians, all newcomers, want to contribute to this culture and this country, I believe. There are people like me, and there are people like Hushang Atef, who immigrated in the 1980s. He started out as a cabbie and built his business to include his exclusively limousine service that catered to a particular Canadian company. 
The owner of that company each year gives Mr. Atef and his family a Christmas present. Mr. Atef brings it home and his wife laughs and smiles and she says, only in Canada would a Jew give a Muslim a present for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. <laughs>